Hey guys, it's Holly. So recently I've needed to do kind of just some housekeeping and it's every single Lego fan's greatest nightmare and that is dusting your Lego sets. Now, people ask me all the time, how do you keep your sets dust free? How do you dust them? How do you just take care of them basically? So today I thought I would kind of break it down and show you because in all honesty, my Disney castle drastically needs doing. I've had that thing for almost a year now and I think I have only properly dusted it once and that was like six months ago. So it needs a good clean. There's also a few other sets that I bought recently secondhand, which I've needed to clean through. There's also a really old set of my sister's that she gave me, which was just disgusting, which I needed to wash. So I thought I would kind of go through and talk you guys through how I actually did this process. So for this process, there's no real one size fits all type of matter. Some sets are a lot more disgusting than others. And if I get a set secondhand, I definitely definitely want to give it a thorough clean before I start building it. One, because of COVID and two, you just don't know where it's been. I just want to clean it, make sure it's all fresh and new, ready to go. Then there's some sets that you might have built recently and aren't really too dusty and you kind of just want to touch it up and give it a quick dust over. So there are kind of like four or five different tools basically that I use to do this. So for really, really old sets or secondhand sets that I get, dish soap is the way to go. If this set is like, has a really thick coating and just looks disgusting and you like wipe your finger across it and there is like a visible streak of dust this is what you need to do unfortunately this means breaking the entire set down and rebuilding it but it's not that bad you get a perfectly clean set afterwards and it's really good to do the only things you can't wash though are sticky pieces I don't really wash rubber pieces either when I do this the second tool I use which is for dirty sets that aren't as dusty that would require washing but are still pretty heavily coated and that is a vacuum cleaner and most of the time I don't use this on my, its own and this is just a mini handheld vacuum cleaner and most of the time I will also combine it with a tool I use for light dusting and that is makeup brushes I've started to use two I've got this this, like giant fluffy powder one and a small more eyeshadow one just to get into like all of like those tiny areas in between your sets and then the last thing which is kind of just for like sets that like don't have too many little details like vehicles and things like that and that is this like microfiber yellow dusting cleaning cloth that I got from Costco. It came in a giant bulk packet and I'm pretty sure it's to help you clean cars or like dust furniture, but I sometimes use that as well. Each of these tools is used very differently. Like I said, sometimes I use the vacuum cleaner and the makeup brushes at the same time. I use them all for different things in different types of sets. So let me just kind of give you a breakdown and show you how I use these. So first things first with all of your pieces, chuck them into a massive bowl, add a tiny weeny bit of dish soap, only a few drops, and then fill the entire thing with water. And then once you've kind of I've rinsed it around, mixed it around with a wooden spoon, try and tip it into a sieve and that way you can drain out all of the water. That way it's going to make it a lot easier to dry up. Usually the sets I do are quite large so I do it in a couple of sections and then I toss through it making sure that all of the water can drip out and as much of it can fall down the sink as possible. It just makes it easier to dry up later on. Then once you've done that lay it out onto some sort of towel or mat or something. We have these like drying mats that we got from Kmart. I'm pretty sure you can get them from just like any kitchenware store and I pour it out on there and I leave it to dry usually for about a day. This one's been sat here for two, three days at this point. Then with the Disney castle, this one was pretty dusty and I definitely did not want to take this apart. So what I had to do to dust this is do this in a variety of sections. So what I started off by doing is pretty much vacuuming the entire thing with a handheld vacuum. And then because the Disney castle does have quite a lot of bits and pieces and nooks and crannies, I would would try and take little sections off so that I could do them one bit at a time and it just made it so much easier to actually go through and clean and then I would piece it back together. I would even pull out my makeup brushes and kind of dust over it especially to get into the little gaps. I'd go over it with both my big fluffy powder brush but also my smaller eyeshadow brush especially for like those little holes and windows and gaps and things like that because that vacuum cleaner and that big brush even would just not get in there. So that's a really big tip I have for you with your sets is kind of take them apart if possible in like little sections and then piece them back together. As you can see with the Disney castle as well, it does come apart in three sections. So I did it bit by bit. I did the top, middle, and then the bottom, dusting each little bit, taking off the little spires and windows and even the top of the castle, taking out the interior, dusting through it. I really wanted to give this thing a thorough clean because it, it really needed it. It was really dusty. 
As you can see, a lot of the plates especially were really dusty. Like you've really got to get every single vertical surface of this. And coming down to the bottom as well, the Disney castle was quite hard to do because you can't really get to the inside of it very easily. You had to come in from kind of both the back of the build and go through and do the tiles, but also open up the doors and reach through the front to really get everything. I also took out the clock and the vase and really just went through every little accessory to get this thing to be super clean. In total, dusting the entire castle, I'd say took me about maybe 25 or 30 minutes and I recorded the entire thing so it kind of gave me a really good estimate as to actually how long this thing took. So if your set is a lot smaller or not as dusty, you probably wouldn't have to take as long and that's why I recommend doing it so regularly. I try and do a proper deep clean of this every six months for big sets like this and then with smaller ones, I'll try and do it a bit more frequently. That way it's a lot easier and faster and I don't have to take as much time to really go through everything but especially with sets like this with the amount of details and intricate little small areas you really have to go through and make sure that you're getting everything otherwise it's just going to collect dust more frequently and also it doesn't make the set look as good and this is honestly the most efficient and easy way that I have found to dust my set using both of these things and kind of using a combination it's been so helpful and really good to keep all of my sets extra clean. Now for a little breakdown on the makeup brushes, because a lot of you probably haven't owned one before in your life, there are two different types I use. The first one is this giant fluffy powder brush and this is amazing for covering large areas of a set. Sometimes after I vacuumed, I still see there's a bit of dust or even before, I just brush it over the entire thing just to loosen everything up and kind of get it all floating around and dust it off or if it's not that dusty, I'll just and we're done. The other one is a smaller eyeshadow brush. This one in particular is a little bit of an angle and this is purely so that you can get into all of like the little tiny gaps because I found when I use my vacuum cleaner it sometimes can't get into particular gaps or holes and as you guys will see later on as I continue to dust the Disney castle there's a lot of nooks and crannies in that set that that vacuum just wasn't going to get into which is why I use this little makeup brush here. If you have not purchased a makeup brush before my best recommendation is to get one from Morphe. I don't know if you guys have heard of this brand but it is a very cheap makeup brand you can order these online brushes this would be like six bucks for example and this powdered one would be like 12 it's super super cheap best place to get it from otherwise you can get them from the drugstore like target or big w or kmart or walmart and tesco and things like that you guys can go and get real techniques they're a pretty good brand i think they're slightly more than morphe but it's more of an accessibility thing it's easier to go and purchase them than it would be morphe even though i know in the u.s you can go to a morphe store but i mean most of you would probably just prefer to order it online i've also heard people use paint brushes before which for me personally i find the bristles to be a lot more stiff because you're trying to apply paint whereas a lot of these are just for powdered products that's the best piece of advice I can give you is if you're going to get a makeup brush look for one that would be used with powdered products so like face powder eyeshadow bronzer blush something like that because they're a lot more softer and the bristles are very flimsy very flexible and it allows you to really get all of the dust out of there so there's a breakdown of how I dust all of my sets it's pretty simple and sometimes it can be quite time consuming depending on the size of the set so make sure you do it regularly so that you don't have to break down these sets and wash them or do a big thorough clean. I mean, I'll definitely do that for my bigger sets because I don't want to go through and dust them every single month. But all of my smaller sets, usually I'll go through and I'll check up on them and dust them just to keep everything looking fresh and clean. It also prevents damage to the bricks, specifically black pieces. You don't want micro scratches on your pieces. And of course, if you really don't want to dust your sets, the best thing you can do is put them behind a glass cabinet and that will pretty much eliminate at least 95% of your dust and you will probably only have to do it like once or twice a year at that point and it'll be very light dusting. So go take care of your sets, go give them a good dust and if you guys enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel down below as well and until next time I'll see you later. Have fun cleaning!